Seven Days of Garbage is an edgy series of portraits in which the subject citizens pose amongst the garbage they accumulate for one week. It's easy to ignore garbage. You know, it's, we, we produce it, we throw it away, and once it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And I figured if you're, if you're laying in your garbage, it's, it's pretty hard to ignore. I had a neighbor uh, who lived across the street from me when I was growing up, and they produced this mountain of garbage every week, and, and I was kind of stunned as a kid seeing this pile of garbage and thinking, where on earth is it all gonna go? And so all these years later, uh, I'm still concerned about garbage, and I've done a number of projects on the theme. And last year, I, I had this notion that um, I thought would make the problem impossible to ignore. And so I began asking friends and uh, family and, and neighbors to um, save their garbage and then lay down and be photographed in it. It's important, I think, when you photograph someone to be able to empathize with what the subject is experiencing. And not just with this project, but in general. It was important for me, not only because I wanted to um, go through the process of saving my garbage, but also to, to feel what they were feeling. Well, for me, it was very cold. <laughs> I created a number of environments in my yard where I live in Los Angeles. The first environment I created was body of water. And so my family and I are, are literally like floating in water with our garbage, which was hard to do because it's you're sort of trying to balance and you're trying to look at the camera, which is straight overhead. I've got my son who's, you know, I had to bribe him with a cupcake to get him to, to lay down in the, in the garbage with us. You know, we, we were surprised by the volume, like, like pretty much everyone else I photographed commented on, wow, I can't believe uh, I produced all that garbage. Some people did edit. Some people were faithful though too because they felt it was important to give an accurate representation of what they really consumed and not fudge it. So that was gratifying. My name is Amanda Blakely, and I'm a mother of two boys, uh, a wife, and I'm an entrepreneur um, and a travel writer. Lying in our own garbage, I think it was overwhelming, not just the smell, but this idea of one week out of a year, this is how much we've produced. And you know, it was quite a bit, and we were just one family among millions. So I think it was a little bit frightening. I took a picture of Atticus standing in front of it, looking at the photo, and it was sort of this um, interesting moment where he was coming face to face with himself and with the garbage that we had produced. And I guess I just sort of felt a little bit scared for, you know, what, what could potentially come if we aren't conscious about how to divert our waste and how to produce hopefully less waste. I'm Kai Ben Lee and I'm a restaurateur. It was obviously something I've never done before. When going to the studio with my bags of garbage, I really didn't know what to expect. Garbage is something that you usually throw away into a bag and never think about it again. And uh, the first time I experienced this of opening up the garbage and seeing all that stuff again, because usually you just you know throw it away, it goes away to a landfill, or um, you don't even really think about where it goes to. You just hope that it gets dealt with. After I saw all the photos together, it kind of opened my eyes to it doesn't matter if you're a family of five or one person, everyone is going to be producing it. So just be conscious of what you're producing. I like to think of the pictures as, as instant archaeology. You know, this is an instantaneous record of where we shop, what we consume, and really ultimately um, what we value. And I think you can see in the kinds of things that you find in people's garbage that we value speed and convenience and um, our immediate needs above the kind of consequences of this kind of a lifestyle. We're all on the go. We grab a, a quick lunch, uh, we gobble it up, and then we throw all the plastic containers in the garbage, 
and, and it's someone else's problem from that point. We don't want to be seen in an unflattering light, and so we know that our garbage represents us. It's, it's hard to be truthful. One of the messages of the pictures is, I hope we can wake up before we're floating in our garbage, which is what some of the pictures depict, you know, a family or an individual laying there floating in their own stuff. Yeah.